Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to answer this question. Should I show fake experience to get testing job? So, you know, my emails and in my comments of the videos, I'm getting questions from many of my subscribers, from people that is it okay to show fake experience to get testing job? Fake experience in the sense, let's say you are a fresher and if you add some kind of two year experience in your resume, just to get an interview call or just to get selected. So is it advisable? Is it good to go with that or not, right? So the simple answer is no, you should never ever do that because you know, there are multiple reasons. So the main reasons over here that we have highlighted is every organization or MNC, you know, that, that will have a stringent background check, right? So whenever you go for the interviews after you clear the interviews you would be you would be asked for certifications you would be asked for you know every documentation things now if you put a fake experience and fake kind of certificates you submit so it would be easily caught right so all companies have a zero tolerance policy for this and it might result in immediate dismissal as well so let's say if you are hired and if you are working and then in the future if they come to know so then then also they can take a very strict action against you right and in many of the service based companies if you are not aware you know client is also asking for resumes cv uh, documentation certifications so client are also doing background check right at times so the, your client might be from us uk or any other location but they will do a good security, good background check just to make sure that whether the pe person that they have hired in their project is having a proper valid experience or not, right? Now, the second question is, uh, you know, how, how to get to the point that you get these interview calls, you get this uh, kind of, uh, you know, job. So, See, I can understand that it is tough to get an opportunity, right? Especially with uh, people who are just having manual testing experience, right? So in those cases, you will have to put more effort. You will have to put more hard work, right? And at times, if you are getting such questions, you know, you can honestly answer in the interview, like, I don't know, or I know only basics. I have never ever faced this issue. I have learned the basics and I have some limited exposure in this area now. So but you are interested to work on that. So you can get an opportunity. So these are the type of answers that you can give in an interview, right? So at times you need to be, uh, you need to be honest with the interviewer because let's say if you are hired in an interview just on the basis of your fake experience, but then when you would be working in the actual project or when you will be working on the actual task, then you might be expected to complete the task, for example, in, in the level of X plus two, right? But you don't have X experience itself, right? X experience you don't have, you don't have X plus one itself, then how you would be able to do X plus two experience, right? So there was one of my subscriber who, who did this and, uh, you know, after two or three months when he was not able to achieve this X plus two task, so he was terminated immediately from the organization, right? So many people I know in the network, you know, uh, they are asking this question that is it okay to show fake experience to get some job or to get some interview call. But uh, I would strictly prefer that don't do all such things because ultimately it would not only impact your career, but it would also impact your mental health and it will rather give you more stress because every time you have to, you know, lie to someone, every time you have to uh, tell one or the other, another thing, and you have to hide the truth. You have you are you have to make sure that you keep the secrets within yourself. So that is not possible, right? You won't be able to give hundred percent output. You won't be that much productive at your at your workplace that you can be, right? So never ever do this, right? There are many organizations. There are many you know people who would give you certifications who would help you with these relieving letters and experience letters as well in just a minor cost of 1000, 2000 rupees, but don't ever do that. This is not at all advisable because don't think for now. Think for 10 to 15 years experience of your life, right? So once your career is built after 10 to 15 years, you would be uh, hired in the leadership role, into the managerial role, into the leads role, right? So over there, 
then all these things will become more and more stringent, right? Like how was his past experience? Where did he work? What did he do? Right? What was she into? So over there also you can get caught. So don't ever do such things in the corporate world, right? Give the honest answers, put a lot of efforts, do a lot of hard work and then crack the interviews, get a good job or at least that would be an honest job for you, right? So this that's it for this um, video. Stay tuned for more updates. Also, if you have such questions related to your career and if you need any sort of guidance, so please send all your queries via email at this particular email address, rdautomationlearning at gmail.com, right? So you can share all your queries, questions over here. Also, if you have any other, you know, mindset or any other different opinion with respect to today's question that was discussed in this video about should I show fake experience to get testing job or is it okay to show fake experience to get testing job, right? So let please feel free to put comments on this video. So definitely me or my team will uh, uh, try to respond to all your comments, right? But as of now, this is not at all advisable, right? Never ever do such things because, uh, you know, they have a very strict or uh, background check and it is very easy to get caught up right even if you clear the interviews then in the actual project work when you are working with other team members they will come to know you don't have that kind of practical ex exposure right and it is just a matter of documentation that you have been hired into this company thank you so thank you so much for watching this video uh, stay tuned for more updates have a nice day